Next, let us look at uh, some of the important types of uh, disabilities or impairments from a syllabus point of view and see how we can support such students in our classroom. So, talking about uh, visual impairment, we are referring to partial loss of vision that is low vision or complete loss of vision that is blindness. So, how can learning happen in the classroom in case of uh, children with low vision or blindness? Well, the learning can happen through non-visual modes. So, non-visual modes are touch, sound, which is listening and smell and taste. So, we are using all the other senses to make the learning possible in the classroom. So, in case of touch, we can use real and concrete materials, which children can touch, feel, experience. And in case of listening, we should use detailed and descriptive script, uh, instructions and uh, a greater use of uh, audio material so that learning can happen through listening. And wherever possible, even smell and taste should also be included in the teaching learning process. And how can we make the classroom more inclusive for children with low vision and blindness? Well, these are some important points because very frequently you will see questions based on these points. So the first is reserving a seat in the front row. So if the child is blind, then making the child sit in the front row means that the child would be able to hear what the teacher is saying more clearly. And in case of a child with uh, low vision, then uh, sitting in the front row means that uh, the child would be able to see what is being written on the board or what the teacher is showing. So this is the first point. Next, proper lighting arrangements. So in case of uh, children with low vision, proper lighting, bright lighting probably helps them to read whatever is uh, written on the board much more clearly. And reading material with uh, large fonts and contrasting colors. So if you change the settings on your phone or settings on your laptop or tablet to accessibility mode then you'll see that the fonts become larger and the colors also change to become more contrasting so that is because uh, it helps children with low vision to see the fonts and see what is written on the screen properly so similarly even reading materials such as textbooks can use large fonts and contrasting colors wherever required and we should be able to provide basic equipment such as a magnifying glass wherever required and braille based reading material should also be made available wherever possible and we should also maximize the usage of tactile and audio teaching aids tactile in the sense uh, material which children can touch feel and experience and audio teaching aids should also be used wherever possible to make learning possible for children with low vision or blindness